G'day mates and welcome to the Halo MCC PC Mod Showcase, a place where we chill, relax and take a look at some beautiful mods like staring at the artworks of Beethoven. Wait, hold up. I mean, Da Vinci. My lack of history knowledge aside, let's begin. Our first mod is a mod that has been made for, well, each and every single game that has come out on the MCC so far. And likewise, the mod author has decided to bring it out for Halo 3. So allow me to introduce the Avalanche AI Battleground mod. This mod introduces AI into the battlefield, whether it's Spartans, Marines, or elites and grunts and jackals and brutes. All of the above, really. That's not all. It brings it to the map of Sidewinder. I mean, Avalanche. I mean, fudge, I actually forgot the name of this map. Not only do we have different variations of elites and grunts and all that, we also have different variations of what weapons they carry, and that's pretty cool. Like, the more options there are, the more fun you can have with those options. Now, they usually do fire at you, but this can be fixed by changing your team and all that, so you should be fine there. There is a new feature that this man has added in, and my goodness, is it just absolutely genius, and that is AI vehicles. Now, I don't know where the hell he began with this process, but they fire at enemies, they fire at me, they fire at basically anything that's within their range, and they will hunt down for it, and in all honesty, they don't, don't, they don't don't hover in one spot, they actually move around making sure that they're always trying to evade or going after a certain target. Now this to me is just like, okay, okay, this is this is pretty cool. This is this is amazing what's happening here. The fact that he's managed to do vehicle AIs is just so cool. And I gotta say, check out this mod if you haven't yet. Now the next two mods are gonna take us back into the Halo 3 campaign, but let's start off with the first one. This is Armored Personal Scorpion. Now this mod introduces two different types of tanks and might I say, they are very, 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 very overpowered. Now why do I say this? Well, for starters, one allows you to carry more troops and more troops is always going to be making you more powerful. Basically anything you come across is dead, especially with that gorse cannon on top. You are just going to be steaming roll right over every single target. Now this next tank doubles that, no, not doubles that, triples it, no, not triples it, quadruples it no not not quadruple it <laughs> pent up This is the Double Cannon Scorpion. There's no actual name to it, so I'm just calling it the Double Cannon. And oh boy, is this a mechanical monstrosity that the UNSC could ever, ever have made. And it fires the most powerful beams that you can possibly imagine. So for those wondering how OP is this, see a Phantom, boom, gone. See a Wraith, boom, gone. Anything that comes in its way, it is basically open season. So if you were looking forward to hunting hunting down any sort of target in your sights, or you just really want to pilot these vehicles, then go check out this mod. Our next mod for the Halo 3 campaign is, well, a mod that technically keeps true to the first person shooter title. What do I mean by this? Well, this is the Halo 3 FPS Warthog. Now, if you guys haven't guessed by the title of this, this basically makes the Warthog that you drive into a first person mode. And might I add that not only is it suspenseful, not only does it actually get your blood rushing, it is an actual challenge to get through the entire last part of this mission. This is ultimately the most tedious thing and you are so easily toppled over and you can easily stack just because you don't know what's happening. I will say a helpful little tip if you plan on playing this is just to notice where all the explosions are happening because then you can actually guess where the floor is going to be missing. So if you guys are wanting to play this for yourselves, then go check it out. It's actually so much fun and it's definitely worth downloading. Our next mod is one that is filled with creativity, one that is so beautiful. In all honesty, it's just really cool because it's actually custom made, unlike the few other menu UIs that I've said to be custom made then turn out to be actually not. Let me introduce to you the MCC Saga custom menu. For those who can't tell, this custom menu is made with Source Filmmaker. How do I know this? I can easily tell that these assets are from Source Filmmaker because I've used 
used this program so many times to make my thumbnails. So there's that. Not that there's anything wrong with using Source Filmmaker, I just can tell what program that the man used for this clip. Another cool thing that this clip goes over is each and every stage of the Chief's journey. Not only that, but it also covers Noble Team and the Rookie, which in all honesty is pretty cool. Like in all honesty, that's really cool to see that they've included that. They didn't have to, but they did. So well done to the author who made this mod. Our final mod is the Halo 3 Forge on the Covenant. Now, this is insane. I understand that you can like change the forge maps and all that over. Not only can you forge on the map of the Covenant, basically the campaign itself, everything gets dragged into this forge map. Not only do you start off with the cutscene at the very beginning of the Covenant, but you also start with the AI and also the objectives that you have to accomplish, which in all honesty just absolutely makes no sense whatsoever. The fact that not only can you just bring in items out of nowhere, say if I wanted like 20 Spartan lasers or if I wanted to spawn in a scorpion battle tank, technically, technically, you could have 16 people play on this campaign. This is all theoretical, this is just what I've discovered, but technically you could have to 16 people play this map. Is that cool? Yes. Is that balanced? No, it is not balanced. But nonetheless, I think the important idea here is not to make these maps forgeable. It's to make these maps fit 16 people on it. But in all honesty, the fact that you could potentially fit 16 people on this map is just damn right amazing. There is a couple of things that you need to know before forging in this map. So on one side, when you spawn an object, you get rooted into existence. Oh, wait, sorry, no, not into existence, out of existence, that's it. That's not the only thing that will happen. You think you will just spawn at a checkpoint, but this is a multiplayer map, there is no checkpoints. So, in that case, you just spawn in random spots all over the map. That's another issue with this mod, is that you will spawn in random points here and there and over here. So if you guys like the look of all these mods, then go check them out. So with that, I'm going to end the video there. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. Like, subscribe and share. Check out the Discord for all the memes. Check out the Patreon for the behind the scenes. And I will see each and every single one of you mates later.